Welcome back everyone. So I'm starting off this design with a YouTube thumbnail. I'm going to go over to my photos and I'm going to place this photo on my workspace. Now, before I continue, I'm just going to take a moment to um, edit this photo and apply a filter to make it more brighter. So I've clicked edit filters and I'm going to go to see all. I'm going to come right down and I'm going to apply this Aria filter um, that is a little bit brighter like that. And I'll leave it like that and uh, I'll move on. Uh, for this next part, I'm going to go over to our apps and I'm going to search for an app that splits images. Now, you don't have to do this. I'm going to use the uh, image divider. Uh, and I'm just going to select that photo and we're going to see right below that it's going to uh, place uh, or create four quadrants because I've got two rows and two columns. Now, this is the first time I'm using this specific app. And my guess is you can use it for a couple of times and then uh, you'll have to upgrade to pay a membership. But as I, I said, if this is the first time you're doing this, you can try this app out and see how it works for you. Uh, or you can do it manually, which I will show you just after this. So I'm actually going to create six columns and I don't want any rows. And the reason why I'm creating six rows is because I only want these four panels on the right. I'm going to discard these two. Um, if we move down, there's also an option for border size. I'm going to create a border size of two pixels and my border style is going to be solid and I'm going to change the border color to this gray shade right here just to uh, emphasize the edges of my of each uh, section. Now that I am done, oh, there's also an option for the radius. So if you wanted rounded corners, you could have that as well. But I'm going to leave it at zero because I want square corners. Um, now that I am done, and once you've made sure that all the settings are correct, you can say split image. And it will split all of the images. Now I'm going to create a, a new page. And uh, I don't want images one and two. I only want images three, four, five, and six. So I'll say add, I'll say add, I'll say add, and I'll say add. All right, I'm gonna take these and I'm now just going to uh, arrange them like this. And we can uh, resize them. Now, if you didn't have access to an image splitter, what I would do is I would take the original image and I would just resize this image to fit the whole screen. And I would just position it, uh, in, try and position it in the middle like that. I would go to File and I would go to Settings and I would add Guides. And what I want to have is I want to have, uh, I'm going to select custom and for the columns, I am going to choose six columns because I don't really want this section here. I just want these last four columns here in this area and I don't want a gap. So I'm just going to delete the gap. And now we have just four panels like that. I'm going to add the guides. And I'm, let me just close that because I don't need that anymore. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image and I'm going to crop it all the way to my first guide on my right side. I'm going to take that cropped image and I'm going to make a duplicate of it. And I'm just going to lay it right uh, exactly on top. I'm going to extend the panel on the left side and then I'm going to crop the one on the right. Again, I'm going to make a duplicate and I'm just going to place it on top again of my second panel, extend the left side, but crop the right side like that. And one more duplicate and do the same. I'm 
I'm going to grab all these and I'm going to make them smaller or resize them and continue from where I left off here uh, as if I was using that image splitter. So here I have my four panels. I'm going to remove the guides because it looks like it's a little bit um, too confusing. So I'll come back to settings and I'm going to say clear guides. And here are my panels. I'm just going to uh, create a little bit of space between these panels like this. And I'm going to start off by grabbing uh, each panel and I'm going to turn on borders. I only want a border that is two pixels and I'm also going to change the border color to gray like I did uh, in the other in the image splitter. OK, so here is my border. OK, now it's set to two pixels. It wasn't before. And I'm going to copy that style and I'm going to apply it to all the rest so I don't have to go through that uh, over and over again. So here is my design right here. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and put it right there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to crop each slide and we're going to alternate. So I'm going to take the first slide and I'm going to crop it from this side and come all the way up. And I'll crop it so that it's a height of 420. Remember that, OK? I'm going to take the second one and now I'm going to crop it from this side. And again, just keep in mind that I want it to be 420. There we go. Again, on this side, 420. And again, on this side, 420. OK, so there is that. So here it is right here. This is what it's looking like. I'm going to take an opportunity now just make that a little bit bigger like this. And I'm going to download page one. So I'm going to come to download. I'm going to download it as transparent. I only want page one and I'll say done and download. I'm going to come down to a new page. And once it's finished downloading, I'm going to bring it back into my workspace like this. So here we go. We've got that nice light gray background all the way around. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this. We're going to go to edit. We're going to go to shadows and we are going to apply. A drop shadow and for this drop shadow, we are going to now if you want to change the color of the drop shadow, you can absolutely um, change the color of the drop shadow. Um, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is, and I'm just going to increase the intensity a little bit like that. And I'm just going, going to uh, decrease the distance a little bit just to give it a more subtle lift like that. And um, I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm going to crop the edges and I'm going to grab the little a circle um, down at the bottom. It's got two arrows that are rounded and I'm just going to rotate it like that. And now I'll just make that a little bit larger. And place that right there. Let's grab the background and let's change the background and let's choose this background like this. Let's add some text. And for the font, I'm going to change it to feeling passionate. I really love this font. We'll change it to the color white. I'm going to grab it, the text, place it up here. And I'll just put love. I'm going to rotate it like that. Make it a little bit larger. Like that. And let's add an effect of a drop shadow. And for that drop shadow, I'm going to make it black and I'm going to increase the transparency and the blur. And that's about it, folks. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments. 
Uh, let me know if you learned anything. Uh, obviously, my bad for splitting this photo in the middle of a face. Uh, you can learn from my mistakes and not split the photo in the middle of a, of a face. Obviously, that makes for a bad design. And um, if there's anything else that you want to learn, leave that in the comments as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.